Welcome. This is my latest video on my series on the FL Sun Q5 3D printer. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link below to the printer on Amazon, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll also put a link below to my FL Sun Q5 playlist. So in a previous video, I attempted to print a 19 millimeter half inch drive socket, and my goal was to take off a lug nut. And this was just a learning experience for me. I wanted to see if I could print something with something cheap like if it was an emergency situation and take off a lug nut. So this is just black PLA, it's Sunlu PLA. I'll put a link below to that also. And this is my first attempt. And I copied a Craftsman socket for dimension here, and I did 100% infill, and this thing broke pretty easily. So next I increased the size. So this would be about the max size that will fit in my wheel, and it's the same height here, and I tweaked a couple other things here. I took out the bevels. I had different bevels around here. I took all those out, and this has like a 15% infill. So I did this just to see if it would fit. I printed this quickly, and it did fit. So then I printed that again here, and this has, I think, a 95% infill, and I also increased the walls to four. So there's four lines of filament here, on the inside and the outside, and then it has the infill in the middle. And the reason I did a 95% or 90%, whatever I did, infill as opposed to 100, is because on this one, I had lots of lines on the outside where you could see the infill coming through. This also had only two wide walls. This mostly had default settings. So I tried that, and it broke here, and then I wrapped some tape around it, I think, and uh, tried it again, and it broke down here. So it broke pretty bad. But if you look here, this is where the change was for the Z height, the layer. So every time it went up a layer, it did that right here. So there was a seam here and you can see it broke right along that seam. So I went back and printed another one. So this has five lines thick on the walls. The infill is now triangle where this had the default and I also randomized the layer changes. So this has kind of like speckles on the outside. It, it's kind of rough feeling. So if you wanted this smooth, you could sand it down, but this is to see if I can take a lug nut off them up for a beauty contest. And even on the inside here, it's a little rougher than on this one. This is very smooth. But I'm hoping the randomization here will increase the strength so it doesn't have that weak point there. And then again, I also did the triangle infill. I did some searching and it seems like that might be the strongest one. And again, I did this at like 95%, I think it was. And I have a little bit thicker walls here. So I'm going to go try this and we'll see if this works. If it doesn't work, am I gonna give up? Who knows? Okay, we're at my wheel now. I think I torqued these to about 88 and a half pounds. So this fits nicely on the ratchet still. I'll put it on here. This is quite a bit tighter now. That's another thing I didn't mention is that I tightened up the tolerances on this so it would fit a little bit tighter. The randomization has made it kind of hard to put this on. The previous one I did that broke slipped on a little bit easier, so I'll press this on. I think I can go a little further in there. Okay, here goes. It's moving the wheel. The socket moved. I don't know if the lug nut turned inside of it. I'm thinking not. It didn't totally destroy this, which kind of surprised me, but it did look like it expanded it out. So I think I'm getting closer. I don't know if taking the infill up to 100% would make this better. So I'm going to try it one more time. Uh, maybe it'll break this time. Now it just expanded it out. So here's the socket again. You can see it just kind of stretched this out, but it didn't fracture like this one did. So I would definitely say it was tougher, 
I think the randomization of the layer changes helped quite a bit. It does press in here, so maybe there's some infill in there. There shouldn't be too much infill between these two because it's mostly walls. We have five walls here and five there, and there's a tiny bit of infill. And even at 95%, I don't know how much like air would be in there. But there might be something to increase the strength even further. So another idea I've had was to take this after it's printed and then wrap it with steel wire. I have like some bailing wire type stuff. And wrap it around there somehow. Maybe even throw some glue on top to reinforce it and then see if that would work. See, the idea here would be to create a socket if you didn't have that socket. So in an emergency situation, I kind of want to use things around the house, and I do have that steel wire. It'd be cooler if I could just do it with the PLA and nothing else, but. So this is just, this is another fail for now, but I am learning. I do think I made it a little bit stronger this time, and we'll see what happens if I ever take this on again. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. Till next time, goodbye.